Officials say those who are set to get a second dose of the vaccine are potentially keeping people who have never had a vaccine from getting their shot. It's something they're calling vaccine shopping, and it's becoming a problem. ABC 4's Nick McGurk live from the state health department with what he's learning this evening. Nick. Emily, it's a problem because every single vaccine counts. We are racing toward herd immunity. This, according to officials, is slowing folks down. And the health department telling me today, healthcare providers all over the state are seeing this happen. The vaccine shoppers, they make multiple appointments. They don't cancel the others. They take the first one they get. And that leaves people who could have had a vaccine that day without the vaccine that day. Now, it's hard to quantify. We were able to reach a couple of health departments today to ask them about this. Uh, and really, the Utah Department of Health, the Utah County, Salt Lake County, they say they're seeing a handful of no-shows every single day, although there are reports that it's higher in other counties. And again, people scheduling three or four vaccines and then not canceling the others. Now, a while back, the governor opened up vaccines for all Utahns, which means you could go to any county in the state to get your first dose. One issue, though, is that vaccines, they get allocated by the state based on that first dose. So a couple weeks later, that same location will get your second dose. The state's Department of Health spokesperson says a big part of this vaccine shopper issue is that for whatever reason, it's people getting their second dose that appear to be frequent offenders as they go for that second dose in a different location. If you're shopping around trying to get your second dose from somewhere other than where you got your first dose, it really creates a supply chain problem for all of our providers out there and becomes exceedingly difficult to manage. Getting rid of these age requirements for vaccines, it starts Wednesday. And that's when Tom Hidako tells me a million Utahns are estimated to be eligible for vaccines. Right now, we only do about 20 to 25,000 vaccines a day. So the huge demand is going to be an issue, but he says patience is so important. He says even into late March, so later this month, Utah should be getting a lot more vaccines on a weekly basis. We're live at the health department. I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.